All right, we are uh, doing an update on uh, my store. Just want to make sure my audio settings set correctly. Right now, in my Halloween costume, but there's actually a bit of an update here. The doors. They may look like Auto Pro V ones, but they're Auto Pro V twos. Look at that. It's set to one way mode, and both are actually running on the same controller. And if you're wondering, the card reads did work and they opened up both doors, I believe. Yeah. They opened up both doors. So, it, although I didn't, I don't, I didn't like it, it works at least. So. <sighs> The fire door here has also been changed. I had to change it to the... Uh, I used the one from there because I didn't want to have to uh, always... Uh, oh wait, I forgot to set this to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to reconfigure the sensor, but... Um, this is a door fire exit. I need to reconfigure the sensor. But I bought it from that over there so I don't have to do the conversion again. You see, I did the fire exit thing there. Huh, how to fire exit there? Interesting. Yeah, I will have to reconfigure the sensor. I forgot to do that. <clears throat> yeah, the updates here because these are no. these are using the new controller, the new controller here, the slim and it's more slim line as you can tell. So I can even do this, and it causes both to be held open. I could do lock, which locks the entire door. Or I could do automatic, which which both will be both ways, so. Or just one way, which basically means both doors should be on one way mode, so. So, uh, and this door is still oh. the same. I don't think I'm ever gonna be converting this to uh, the new Autopro system because I don't think this reader is actually supported on the new Auto Pro, so this is the legacy version, like the first, the very legacy one. No, please, please. We still got the EES system. Nothing has changed with the EES system. We got the fire alarm system as well. And I believe this thing's still broken. Yeah, I I don't know how to fix it, but it's actually uh, something's wrong with the something's wrong with the key switch. Like it's the same here if I use an inspection key here. No, not five six key. Yeah, I don't know why I don't know why it's why it's doing that. It's something's wrong with the with the key switch. So I don't know why it's not working. No. So what now? Might need a might need a new loader or like a new uh, uh, plugin script, who knows? And we still got no. this one here. What now? We see this is locked because it's a car reader. And the reason I did the car reader here is for one reason. So when you, people are here, they can literally just use the camera glitch bug. And press the call button. It's like... It's like very, very close to the elevator. Like they can easily click it if they're like at the very edge. So like, you see this call button here? See, they can easily click it. So that's why I locked it, so to prevent that from happening. And you still and you still can't press up, but you can't actually go up. Without the key card. And then we'll also show you an update to my one one of my uh, HQs, which you yeah, actually know it's leaked, so let's take a look at it. So it is, I believe, I think it's this one, the two. <clears throat> so, but it should, it should actually be this one. Yeah. So it's to this elevator right here. 
Right now, I had not configured it, but if you go into this elevator. Oh, I didn't put the update. But floor 3 is, um, is out, so let's go back to 2. I have promised to update, but floor 3 is coming coming to this elevator, so. I forgot to push the updates. Hold on. I'm gonna just disable the PC capture while I do the update. Okay, hold on. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, pause OBS because I'm thinking of using MP4. Uh, Okay, now it should be published. Okay, let me get the PC capture back on. Alright, close that. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. But yeah, that, that's the floor right there. So, I will show you right here. So now it, the update has been published. So if you press the carbon, you see the sign? Currently it does not travel to floor 3 because floor 3 has not been configured in the elevator yet. Even though you can technically get update using the car top control. It hasn't been configured for like the button here, the button upstairs, and so the up button here is actually locked, see? So, yeah. The door hole is actually broken, and that's because this is running alpha, so the door hole doesn't actually work. Unfortunately, so. So, we're gonna be going up to shoot on this, these elevators here. And I'll show you. Here we go up. If you look up here, you can see the sign here. Currently, it's not traveled as well. The carbon is also locked here. So, yeah, it currently does not travel to this floor, so. Because I had. Because it, it, the carbon. Uh, the carbon up here, the up carbon here, and the button inside there is not configured yet. So, that's why it can't travel up to this floor yet. Like the LA can get up using the car tire control, but the buttons are just not configured, so that's why you can't travel this floor. A. Yeah, take me to B instead. These are high. These are our attractions. So, yeah, they're on the rails here. So, I think it's the other one. This one's still the same. You still got the that mad doom button. Oh, wait a minute. If I set this to alpha, then the door buttons on the top will actually work uh, for both doors. But I'm not, I'm probably not going to do it for that one, so it has to stay like that. So, I yeah, stick out the bathrooms, which, yes, yeah, you can click the handle, and the reader is just set to unlock mode, which is why it's, which is why it shows green. And it just call you disabled. And yeah, the staff elevator. Nothing has changed with it. There's actually, I think, if I remember, I put something here to make it so that. Uh, Non-staff won't be able to get in. You see, you can't even, you can't even use this elevator. I think probably didn't do for this elevator though. Yeah. Right here, there's nothing much different here. This is still, still an original elevator. 
Might have to upgrade the charm config for that one. Got this one here. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember I, I fixed the, the door so it actually opens up properly. Yeah, this I I removed the sensor because it wasn't needed for the card reader, and I just made it work on the visitor card because this is more like a storage area. You know, there's a store. There's nothing much in the store, so I just I just that's just a storage area basically. You can just visit whatever you want. So. Look at these elevators here. Alright, yeah, these are running copyright music. I'm gonna have to change it soon. Here we can go down. The alarm. My elevator company. I think this is an old one though. But yep, we are down here, so. So, and you hear my elevator just saying going up. So. Yeah. And this actually uh, used to be a different elevator. Um, I think it was monitor outside of company, then it was completely replaced by my elevator company. Because this is because I did the entire thing. Replaced everything. So And yes, the multi-base system does work as intended. Going up. And yes my voice is working as well. You just heard it say going up. But this is my older generation, and I don't think I'm going to continue any more generations. Because, um... It's hard to make these make new fixtures. It's hard to make new fixtures. Yes, I know I'm head of uh, my friend, Alex W. Company. But he makes uh, fixtures better, so... So, yeah, it's just not something I didn't need. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I see you guys here. Goodbye for now.